Hope you're having a great day so far. Today is November 12th, Thursday, and on this post, I'm going to be talking to you about the overall crypto markets and your finance, diving to some of the charts for Wi-Fi, USD. I'll be sharing with you my bullish and bearish case scenarios for this market, as well as the short-term price prediction, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me. If you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe, as I'll be keeping you updated on my latest crypto setups regardless if it's a good day or a bad day if you guys do want to support me and don't really have a Weibo brokerage account you guys can use my referral link down below they're still giving away three free stocks upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit and i will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me please do also read my full disclaimer below as i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice i cannot tell the future i'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on this market you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing. If you guys have any questions or comments, do only leave them in the comment section below as I will not get to all the messages in my inbox, but let me know what you guys are trading, what symbols you guys are following, and I can see if I can share my opinions and analysis on those symbols. Now let's go to the overall crypto markets first and see what exactly is going on in the market in general. So, most important thing I like to look at is Bitcoin dominance. We're currently up about 1.3% uh, from yesterday at almost 66%. This tells me where exactly the money is flowing into and, tr and maybe trending into. Would it be Bitcoin, altcoins, or neither? Now, in this scenario today, Bitcoin dominance is up and we see most of the action actually going into Bitcoin while total altcoins are actually ble uh, bleeding. As you can see, it's down about 1% while Bitcoin is up almost 3%. So Bitcoin price action right now, like I have mentioned in my previous post this week, we had been running in this ascending triangle pattern and we have actually broken out of that 16K resistance. I would like to see more volume for that breakout to actually confirm that this is a breakout, not a, not a fake out, okay? So that is something I'm watching for because when Bitcoin takes off, that could affect how all coins are being traded. Now, total altcoin market cap currently down about 1%, $155 billion. We're still very well above that weekly 21 simple moving average. So in my opinion, I think we're still very much on a macro uptrend, but that does not mean we're not going to get those 10, 20% uh, dumps in certain altcoins just because we are in a macro uptrend. So that is something to be keeping in mind of. Now let's go to the charts for Wi-Fi USD. On Wi-Fi, I'd like to know if we are on a uptrend, downtrend, or in reversal, somewhere in between. So we are on the monthly time frame right now, and we had two weeks, I mean two months of sell-off, and now followed by a bullish candle with quite a bit of volume, and it has not even been half the month yet, and we have already surpassed half the volume of the previous, each of the previous two months candles. So this, if we can actually end up with a engulfing candle or even just a candle right now telling me that it's a pretty strong bounce, I know that this trend, this makes a convincing case to me that this trend is currently reversing. Now, we don't have any moving averages on this monthly time frame yet because it's still very short trading history. So let's go down to the weekly time frame. We still don't have any moving averages here on the weekly time frame that at least I use, but Zooming in to what exactly is going on, we can see that we had a bullish engulfing candle for last week with pretty good volume, followed by this week where we are seeing most of the resistance coming from this Fibonacci retracement level at about 21,000. Okay, this is the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level. We're going to see how long it takes for us to actually get above this, but it does seem like it's pretty strong resistance so far. Now let's go down to the three day where we actually do have a moving average, the daily, uh, the 21 simple moving average on the three day, which has been serving as resistance as well. And now we are currently supported by the 0.28, uh, 0.236 Fibonacci retracement level at about 15.7K. Okay. So keep that in mind. The sim, uh, the three day 21 simple is still beneath the uh, 21,000 level, which is also a Fibonacci retracement level. Now let's go down to the daily. The daily, we can see that we had tried to actually, we had actually closed above 
the 50 simple moving average, but got rejected at the three day 21 simple moving average. It was very strong resistance. And now it took us all the way back to uh, this last Fibonacci retracement level that we just got back on top of. And we're being supported here about 15.6K. Uh, Last uh, time frame that I actually do want to take a look at to actually zoom in and, and see what exactly is going on was is the 12 hour time frame. So on the 12 hour time frame, okay, that we have actually had a symmetrical triangle pattern with a measure target of about uh, about 21 21,000 actually. So exactly in well in the neighborhood of the 21,000 Fibonacci retracement level. But as you guys can see on the RSI, we had bearish divergence there and just ran out of momentum to continue going. And now, like I said, we are being supported by the 15.7K Fibonacci retracement level. Now, let's go and dive into what exactly the bullish and bearish case scenarios are. So on the daily time frame, I think this will highlight my point and uh, my consideration of the bullish case scenario. So as you guys can see, since the dump back in late September, okay, we have not even gotten a solid close above the blue line right here, which is the daily 21 simple moving average. So this serves as a divide between if this price action is continuing downwards or is in reversal. But recently we have actually closed above this daily 21 simple moving average. And instead of it acting as resistance, since we have actually gotten on top of it, we can see we can say that uh, we have built support above this moving average. So bullish case scenario, given that we actually stay above this daily 21 simple moving average, my next price prediction is that we get on top of the three day 21 simple moving average currently about 19,000. OK, that is the next level of resistance. The three day 21 simple moving average about 19,000. If we get above that, the next resistance I would expect, which would be pretty strong resistance as well, would be the 21K level. Now, that is the bullish case scenario. Always have to consider the bearish case scenario because it is risk management. Now, for the bearish case scenario, if we actually break down below this daily. Uh, this Fibonacci retracement level and actually get a candle close, a daily candle close below this Fibonacci retracement level, I'll be careful because then uh, we can see that the support that we have built after closing above this Fibonacci retracement level is broken if we get a close below it, okay? And that, that would be a caution level, early caution level. The very bearish uh, case scenario is that if we actually get a daily close beneath this daily 21 simple moving average, because that would tell me after getting on top of it and actually trying to reverse this downtrend and building uh, support that was um, that was this moving average, if we actually break back down below it, that would tell me this downtrend may as well continue again. So, like I said, let me reiterate: would be uh, the early caution level, we're actually getting a daily close beneath this Fibonacci retracement level at about 15.7K, early caution level. Bearish, bearish case scenario is that if we actually get a daily close beneath this daily 21 simple moving average. Now, this concludes my very short analysis of Wi-Fi so far. I hope you guys have found it helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know in the comments, agreements, disagreements. I would love to know. I hope you guys manage your risk carefully and see you next time.